In his memoir, Barbarian Days, A Surfing Life, William Finnegan, a writer renowned for his contributions to The New Yorker, delves into his transformative journey through the world of surfing and its profound impact on his existence. Finnegan astutely observes that, while many may perceive surfing as a straightforward sport, achieving mastery in it demands an unrelenting lifelong devotion. He views surfing as an art form, and his passion for the sport akin to a quest for the perfect wave, much like an author's pursuit of the ideal word or phrase. The book unfolds in chapters that mark distinct epochs in Finnegan's life, recounting a myriad of experiences both within and beyond the ocean's embrace. Finnegan's narrative commences in Southern California, where his upbringing is shaped by his parents, television and film producers with fervent liberal beliefs. They encourage Finnegan to immerse himself in socially conscious causes and activities. At the tender age of four, he first falls under the ocean spell, initiated into the art of surfing by his free-spirited, beach-hopping hippie parents. As Finnegan's life progresses, an essential chapter unfolds when his family relocates to Hawaii during his eighth grade year. It is during this period that Finnegan wholeheartedly embraces the culture of surfing. Like many adolescents, he grapples with the pursuit of independence while confronting bullies who taunt him for his authentic self. Simultaneously, his quest for self-identity aligns with his relentless search for the elusive perfect wave. He vividly recounts his experiences riding the waves that grace the shores of his newfound island home. Subsequently, Finnegan returns to California for high school, only to find that surfers have become outsiders in this new environment. At the age of 16, he finds himself thrust into a counterculture that he has always cherished and identified with. He narrates the story of a close friend, similarly passionate about surfing, who makes the bold decision to forsake the football team to pursue his love for the sport. Finnegan's educational journey leads him to the University of California, Santa Cruz, yet he soon makes the life-altering choice to drop out and return to Hawaii in 1971, accompanied by his girlfriend, a decision that would profoundly shape his path forward. Back in Hawaii, Finnegan revels in the profound happiness of his return, accompanied by a woman he regards as the love of his life. However, their idyllic existence becomes entangled in complexity when she becomes pregnant and subsequently opts for an abortion. This emotionally taxing experience introduces a degree of separation between them, ultimately leading to her departure in search of her father, who is meandering through Southern California in the throes of an LSD addiction. Finnegan is left heartbroken by the breakup, adrift and purposeless, guided primarily by his heart's yearning and an insatiable quest for the perfect wave. He briefly finds employment at the railroad, earning a decent living, but his restlessness compels him to abandon this stability. Alongside his close friend and fellow writer, Brian D. Salvatore, he embarks on a journey to the South Pacific. While in Southeast Asia, Finnegan embarks on the creation of a novel, but his enthusiasm wanes as he traverses Indonesia, leaving the book unfinished. Contemplating whether to return home to complete the novel, he instead chooses a different path, heading to South Africa, where he takes up a teaching position in an all-black school. This decision ultimately shapes his journey as he delves into writing about apartheid. After years of globetrotting and crafting his narratives, Finnegan eventually returns to his roots in California. He settles in the foggy, chilly confines of San Francisco alongside his girlfriend, who later becomes his wife, Caroline. Even in the frigid waters of the Pacific, Finnegan remains an ardent surfer. In San Francisco, he encounters an inspirational figure, a family doctor who shares his unwavering passion for surfing. Finnegan's encounter with this remarkable individual sparks his career at The New Yorker, marked by a piece he writes about the doctor. Although fatherhood becomes part of his life during this period, Finnegan resists settling into a conventional existence. He continues his globe-trotting, chasing waves even to places like Madeira. However, his heartbreak is palpable when he witnesses the destruction of the waves due to shoreline development. Finnegan's narrative progresses to his time living in Long Island and New Jersey, where he discovers waves that take him by surprise. Despite his advancing age and the growing responsibilities of husband, father, and journalist, Finnegan adamantly refuses to relinquish his fervent obsession with surfing. His love for the sport persists, providing a canvas for his philosophical reflections and an enduring source of inspiration. William Finnegan is a prominent staff writer at The New Yorker, where he has established himself as an accomplished international journalist. 
His journalistic pursuits encompass a diverse array of topics, including probing examinations of race and bias in South Africa, in-depth explorations of Mexican and South American politics, and thought-provoking insights into youth poverty in America. In addition to his compelling journalism, Finnegan is an impassioned and prolific writer, with a notable dedication to the world of surfing. Finnegan's nomadic life has seen him traverse the globe, with his transformative experiences in South Africa leading him from his initial passion for novel writing to a distinguished career as a journalist and non-fiction author. His remarkable body of work has garnered numerous accolades, with his book Barbarian Days achieving the prestigious 2016 Pulitzer Prize for Autobiography. His commitment to impactful journalism has been further acknowledged through his receipt of two John Bartlow Martin Awards for Public Interest Journalism, his status as a finalist for the National Magazine Award on two occasions, and various other recognitions for his contributions to social justice journalism. Presently, William Finnegan calls New York home, where he continues to pursue his literary endeavors. He has authored five books to date, with Barbarian Days standing as his most recent and acclaimed work. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.